my new theory states that zero is either positive nor negative. But the present theory in the mathematical world states that zero is neither positive nor negative. Now, let us prove my theory. Let us consider a simple division. Say, 552 divided by 5. Let us divide by using Euclid division lemma. Here, divide this. 1, 5. 5, 1. Here, 5. Then, 2. Let us keep in here, 0. Let us discuss. Here, whether 2 is a remainder or not. It is not yet remainder because anything is not subtracted from 2. So, we are just keeping 0 here. But, but the division should be continued. Here, when you multiply 0 and 5, you have to keep here 0. Then you have to subtract it. It becomes 2. Now, after subtraction, we get 2. Before subtracting 0 from 2, 2 is not a remainder. Then, why you are keeping 2 itself? Because 0 is negligible. This is a positive negligible. Therefore, 0 is a positive number. And 0 is positive. Then, let us discuss another proof. Say, a positive number is divided by 0, it is undefined. That means infinity. Let us prove this. Let us prove this now. Here, three divided by 0 0.1. This is 3, 0. 3 divided by 0 0.01 equal to 300. Then, 3 divided by 0, 0, 0, 0.001 will be equal to 3000. In this way, we have continued like this. Here, 3 divided by 0 0.00 dot, 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 here, here. What will be this then? This will be equal to 3 like this. Then, it means that, it means that, it means that 3 divided by 0 equal to 3 this is infinity this is to infinity then we know that now 0 0.001 becomes 0 now so it shows that 0 has something here so 0 is now again 0 is positive now. 0 is now positive. Now, positive number. Now, let us discuss another theory. For every for every real number, Having positive real number positive x, there will be minus x. Therefore, 0 is again negative according to this theory. Hence, 0 is either positive or negative. 
it is just opposite to the present theory that zero is neither positive nor negative so this is my proof of my theory stop let us see